Hello, it's Michelle. I am here with my co-host again. Cute, adorable, beautiful Olive. She's taking it out with her little ball. And just sit, in case you're wondering, the cats are doing fine. They're taking their daytime sunbathing naps. <laughs> And Marty has told me that he still will co-host also. I don't know that we'll be having them co-host together anytime soon, but they will both sit with me while I film at different times. <laughs> what I'm doing today is I'm reviewing the five books that I checked out at the library, which were all manga or graphic novels. And I'm going to go back to the library and pick up books that I have on hold and tell you what books those are and then in the next video I'll do the same thing I'll do a review and then tell you what books I'm picking up thank you so much to Alicia who is a viewer of this channel she she's actually been a viewer of this channel since it started and my other channel for quite a long time she told me that when you get a library card now you could go and put books on hold on their website. And I thought, what? Like, this is all crazy sorcery to me, right? <laughs> Since I last went to the library on a regular basis, I was in college and that was a little while ago. I didn't know that you could do that online. <laughs> I know. So I did go online and I put some books on hold and I'm excited to tell you what those are later on in this video. But first I wanted to do my reviews. What I've been doing for a long time is reading two books at a time, one physical book and one audiobook. And then sometimes if I'm really lucky, I can do an audiobook and a physical book at the same time. Now I'm going to be reading three books at a time because I want to always have a manga or a graphic novel that I'm reading. I think it's just a fun way to fill in gaps maybe between calls at work or sometimes Brad will be in a conference or like a video conference chat kind of thing at work. And when he's in those meetings, I have to keep Miss Olive quiet. And the best way to keep her quiet is to do what I'm doing right now. Sit on one of the couches with her. She loves cuddling. <laughs> She's a lap dog. She's a little big for it, but she doesn't seem to, to accept that. And I loved just during the day when he's in his chats to be able to just pick up one of these books and read it. And I love how quick they are to read and how visually stimulating some of the books are. I'm going to tell you about the books in the order that I read them. The first book that I read was Judgment, Judgment Number One. And this is the one about a group of people that all have these headpiece masks on, kind of like what you might see on a mascot. They each have one on and they're being judged for their sins, the seven deadly sins, which are envy, lust, sloth, wrath, gluttony, pride, and greed. I kind of feel like it's saw meets seven and seven. I don't mean to be dark, but hey, that's who I am. Seven is my favorite movie of all time. <laughs> and then my second favorite movie of all time is the Muppet movie. So I just go kind of really dark or really light. I love the premise of this book. I just thought it was a really exciting, fun premise. I loved the graphics in this book. I wish they were in color. Out of all the books that I read, this one had, in my opinion, the best graphics. I love the playful Japanese graphics. And just in case you haven't read manga before, so this is the back of the book and this is the front. And you start in the back and you read left to right instead of right to left. You go from the top to the bottom, just like you would in Japan. I feel like this book is an intro to the series and I don't really know how to feel about it right now. I'm kind of lukewarm. I don't know who's in there for what yet. I don't know when the seven deadly sins are really going to start coming into play a little bit more and when the judgment will start. Because of that, I'm going to give this three stars. I thought it was a very decent, solid read. I'm not going to say it wasn't good and I'm not going to say it was great. It was just kind of in the middle for me. 
but I do recommend it because it was very enjoyable. It was an exciting read and I'm really wanting to read the next one. Then I read Lost Cat by Jason. And this one, <laughs> I don't even know how to just tell you what it's about because I couldn't quite figure out what it was about. It started out really good with a detective meeting this woman who lost her cat and he has found her cat. And they're sitting talking and it's going really well and then everything just gets kind of strange. I couldn't figure out what I was really reading and what really was happening and what wasn't. There was a mystery, a love story, a really cute cat, a UFO. I mean, it was just all over the place. And that should be fine, but the execution does, just didn't make sense to me. So I gave it two stars. Anonymous Noise, book one. And I didn't get too far into it because I just couldn't get into it. I just, something about it really fell flat for me. It just wasn't my kind of story. So I DNF'd this one. Then I read The Sacrifice of Darkness. So basically, it's got two storylines going on throughout the whole book between two different generations. A man and his wife and then his son and his son's friend. This man flies into the sun and the sun, he basically kills the sun. It stops working. And the entire mining town that he lived in starts really hating his wife and his son and blaming them for what he did. They want the son back. It's affecting their lives in a lot of ways. I would say the theme of the book is how dangerous it can be to blame anyone for something that someone else did, whether it be their family or not. It's, it's really not fair to hate someone or oust them from society just because of something that someone they're related to did. The storyline just felt very dull and not very realistic. Things didn't seem heightened enough for me. There just wasn't any excitability that I really felt. It had a cheesy ending that I really didn't care for. I ended up giving it two stars. And this one did take me three days to read, which most of the graphic novels and manga that I've read, I read in one day. So that really told me how interesting I didn't find it. <laughs> but one thing I did love about this book though, I found the color palettes in here to be soul cleansing. There's something about this peachy and blue tone that I really loved and then also this yellow and orange tone. I just loved the colors. I think that's why I ended up reading the whole thing. It was just for the colors. <laughs> do you do that? Do you love colors or images so much in a book that it keeps you going with graphic novels? Because that's definitely what happened to me here. The next book that I read and the last one in this review is Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and Owen King. This book was very beautiful visually as well. Let me show you here. It's creepy. It's about this thing called Aurora that basically kills women while they're sleeping. It seems like a virus except I don't see how it could be and I don't know how anybody gets Aurora. They haven't explained that yet. Just literally every woman in this town gets overtaken by this Aurora when they fall asleep. And it's kind of a weird thing. This web cocoon kind of thing starts coming out of their mouth and forming around their body while they sleep. And if anyone disrupts the cocoon, they get very violent the woman inside. So I, I guess maybe it's not necessarily killing women, but it's doing something to them. I haven't figured out what yet. Can they be brought back? Can the cocoon be removed? I don't know. But it's only women. And the men in the town are starting to get, as you can imagine, pretty upset. So they're trying to figure out how to stop this. 
how to save the women in their lives because it's not just adult women it's small children that are women it's also anybody it's it's at the at a heart level so it's anyone that identifies as being a woman so transgender women are also being overtaken by these cocoons so it is political I'm not sure what direction they're going with it yet this is book one in a series but I did enjoy it it held my interest and I want to know what's going to happen so I'm definitely planning on reading the next one and I gave this one three stars I think that'll probably be the way in any first book in a series whether it's graphic novels or manga because well they're usually just setting everything up they don't get too far into the storyline yet I don't know now who knows maybe there would be a first book in a series that I would give five stars to I haven't read enough of these books yet to know for sure I'm back I'm sorry if you can hear the air conditioner it's just a little too hot to go without it but what I ended up having on hold that I got today were the next three books in the Judge series. So we've got number two, number three, and number four. And then my friend Dia, she's got a channel on here. I'll link it down below. She recommended... Fruits Basket by Natsuki Takaya. This one is about a high schooler named Toru who has to take matters into her own hands and move into a tent after a family tragedy turns her life upside down. Now she ends up pitching her tent on land that is owned by a Soma clan and when they discover her secret they take her in but then she finds out that they have secrets of their own and she discovers boys that turn into the animals of the Chinese zodiac so that sounds like it might be pretty fun right Dia also recommended this book the tea dragon society which looks so cute. This is a fairy tale style story about a girl named Greta who discovers the lost tea dragon in a marketplace and starts learning about a dying art form of tea dragon caretaking from the tea shop owners. She befriends them and they enrich her lives and they enrich hers. That sounds really cute and sweet. And then the last one that I got was recommended by viewer Chris. It's called Alita Battle Angel, the original cyberpunk classic by Yukito Kishiro. And this one is a sci-fi manga series, which sounds pretty fun treasure amid the trash far beyond the shimmering space oh, there we go far beyond the shimmering space city of Zalem lie the trash heaps of the scrapyard here cyber doctor and bounty hunger hunter days Luke Ito finds the head and torso of an amnesiac cyborg girl he names her Alita and vows to fill her life with beauty but in a moment of desperation, a fragment of Alita's mysterious past awakens in her. She discovers that she possesses uncanny prowess in the legendary martial art known as Panzerkunst. Panzerkunst. With her newfound skills, Alita decides to become a hunter warrior, tracking down and taking out those who prey on the weak. But can she hold on to her humanity in the dark and gritty world of the scrapyard? And it says that this is soon to be made into a motion picture, which this was probably a while ago. So how cool is that? It's, there's a movie I can watch too? I did look for the next book in that Stephen King sleeping series, but I, they didn't have it. So I'm going to have to put that one on hold, but.
pretty cool. I'm excited to read these. I'll let you know soon what I ended up thinking of them. Um, if you have any recommendations for me, be sure to let me know down in the comments. If you've read any of these or the ones that I reviewed earlier, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day or night. Happy reading. Bye.